Right, another day, another bit of the vlog. So it's Sunday right now, so today what the plan is, like I probably mentioned at uh, the end of yesterday, is the Xbox press conference. I am indeed actually going there. I was originally thinking that I was gonna have to miss it to actually attend some Need for Speed capture stuff, but that's actually gonna be perfectly timed after the conference, so it's gonna be pretty damn cool to be able to actually attend the Xbox conference along with uh, some of the other guys who are also with me. But right now, at the moment, uh, just chilling out. It's like 10.30 uh, or something like that right now, and the Canadian Grand Prix kicks off in half an hour. So I am actually gonna be able to catch it on stream like the first opening laps for about half an hour, but then 11.30, I've got to get going because we've got to get an Uber across LA to the Galen Center, I think it is, where the Xbox conference is happening. But at the moment, I do actually have the Canadian Grand Prix well, trying to stream it. It's a little bit stuttery right now. Obviously, I'm on hotel Wi-Fi, so it is in the, the best ideal situation, but, uh, oh God, the light. Um, so, so, yeah, it's not it's not the most ideal situation, but I'll catch the opening few laps, hopefully. Unfortunately, I did want to try and watch the entire race and then do a vlog um, reaction video and then upload it straight away from, from the hotel here, but obviously, I'm not going to be able to watch the entire thing, so no point doing a video there, unfortunately, but that's fine. I mean... I'm, I'm in LA, I mean, sort of technically hot like half a whole day, so I guess uh, it's not too much of an issue for me personally that I'm gonna not be able to make the video. Um, at least I'm gonna catch the opening few laps, which should be fun. And then obviously you guys are absolutely awesome on Twitter. Those of you who do follow me and are on Twitter with the F1 community on there, I'll, I'm sure I'll get updated on what's going on in the race with many, many gifts and memes and whatever happens in the race. You know, if Fernando Alonso is out of the Grand Prix and does something funny, I'll know about it because uh, just Twitter is straight away on the update. Oh my god. <laughs> Verstappen, mate, where have you come from? Oh my god, the red Ferrari bottled it. Freiken, and where are you going, mate? What? Oh, what? Well, there's McLaren off. Oh god, signs. New development, new development in watching the F1 race. Oh god, I'm too dark, but look. Look, it's on TV. It's on TV. Thank you to the one Twitter user that tweeted me about the race being on, on NBC here in the hotel. Got it. Yes. Yes, mate. Got it on the TV. I won't be able to watch for too long, though, because I've got to go to the Xbox conference in about half an hour. But it's here. It's in. Oh, I can't feel too much of it on the TV, obviously. Otherwise, I'll get copyrighted. But it's here in glorious HD on the hotel TV. Get in. Get in. What a start for Max Verstappen. What a crazy start and madness of a crash for science. So it's Hamilton P1, Verstappen P2, which I never thought I'd be saying. So I'm hoping, I think a lot of F1 fans will be hoping that Verstappen can hold on into the top three and start fighting them because you just never know with Max what he's going to do and that's just going to be a bit crazy if he is able to keep up with them. Um, and then Vettel's got a serious issue because he's got like quite a big chunk of his cascade off, like the whole left side of his front wing right there. I can probably show you this little bit. Look, you can see it's completely like, Gone, and he's actually pit, he's gonna pit. Early pit stop for Vettel, okay. I'm actually gutted I'm missing this race now. <laughs> Cause this is looking like it's gonna be a tasty one. Six laps gone, and there's been so much action already. So uh, yeah, a little bit annoying that I'm gonna miss probably the end of it, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. Finally, the driver turns to the guy next to him and says, did you leave the brats on the grill again? And he goes, yep. Might as well put them to good use. I don't know how to What is this? What, what? Why is there picture and pi What? He's out. Verstappen's out. Verstappen just crashed. He's just, he's just out. He's just out. I was... I got stuck on the advert. The advert cut back into the race and the guy goes immediately. And there we can see Verstappen's out now. He's parked up on that. Why? Why? Why, America? Why? I keep also looking at this by mistake. Why, America? Why, NBC? That is a key moment you've missed with an advert. So, um, it's now a 1-2 for Mercedes. <laughs> Good chances for Force India. Also, that Red Bull car looks really sad. Really, really sad. Right, so it's pretty much time for me to go now to the Xbox conference. It's lap 16 out of 70. Hamilton 1-2, Ricardo 3rd, I think. Also, before I go, just want to say, NBC's commentators 
say botas as boat ass. Boat ass. Okay then. Okay, anyway, time to go to the Xbox conference. Got my bag ready, got my charge. This is literally essential. Charger, phone, connected as one like that. Got that ready, got the bag. Let's go. The long ass queue for the Xbox briefing. This is when the news breaks that they're actually all lining up for a very special fidget spinner releasing in limited order. <laughs> yeah, it's an Xbox fidget spinner. in history, a flagship supercar is making its world debut here at E3 in front of you. This year, we announced a six-year partnership with Porsche to bring you amazing experiences, both in game and in personal. Porsche shares our vision for the future of racing and esports. And this car has never been seen outside of the guarded walls of Porsche. That honor belongs to you exclusively. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the 2018 Porsche 911 GT2 RS. Like the Xbox One X, it's a monster. And with over 4.8 million active players across X... I need to explain this next part in postcom because I didn't actually vlog in between the end of the Xbox briefing ending and what you're next about to see. So basically, the briefing ended, we took an Uber back to our hotel, chilled out there, grabbed dinner, and then we were invited by EA to an NBA rooftop party. So obviously, NBA is one of the games EA makes, and they were doing an NBA tournament for the YouTubers that were there for NBA, they were doing like a tournament, but alongside there, every other person that was there from an EA game, so that included us at Need for Speed, any FIFA guys, you know, everyone included that was there from EA, basically that flew out to LA, was invited along to this same kind of rooftop party, which was on the roof of a different hotel to the one we're staying at. I think it was a hotel that some of the EA staff were staying at. Um, so what you're about to see is us queuing up and then eventually getting in uh, up into the rooftop of that, where there was actually a pool, but they kind of closed it off. But it was like, uh, again, free bar, free food there, and uh, ended up being a pretty sweet, sweet, uh, sweet rooftop party, I guess. Um, I didn't film too much of it. Probably a good thing that I didn't film too much of it, but there's a few little glimpses of what was going on. But at some point in the night, I kind of had too many drinks 
drinks to actually vlog, and that was probably a good thing. <laughs> I am so fucked.